Sophie Germain was born on April 1, 1776. She was born in Rue Saint Denis, Paris, France. Most sources claim that her father, Ambroise Francois, was a very wealthy silk merchant, while others believe that he was a goldsmith. Sophie's father was elected as a representative of the bourgeoisie to Etat General in 1789. He changed this later into the Constitutional Assembly. It is therefore assumed that Germain was able to witness many discussions between her father and his friends on philosophy and politics. When Sophie turned 13, the Bastille fell and this forced her to stay indoors. To kill her boredom, Sophie turned to her father's library, where she became interested in mathematics. She pored over every book on mathematics in the library. She even taught herself Greek and Latin. She read works on Leonard Euler and Isaac Newton. Her parents were not okay with the idea that their daughter loved mathematics. They tried to stop her. But eventually, they realized their daughter was serious. In 1794, Ecole Polytechnique opened. Since she was a woman, Sophie was barred from joining this school. However, she managed to get lecture notes and send her work to Joseph Louis Lagagne, who was a faculty member of the school. Sophie first developed interest in elasticity when she heard of a contest sponsored by the Paris Academy of Sciences. She submitted her paper to this contest in 1811, but she did not win the prize. She later tried the same contest again, but failed. On her third attempt, however, she won, and she became the first woman to win a prize from the Paris Academy of Sciences. Olivia and I relate to this because we have both won awards for our science achievements. Sophie was first interested in the number theory in 1798 after studying the works of Adrien Marie Legendaire. She later opened correspondence with him on the number theory, then later on elasticity. After a while, Sophie lost interest in the number theory. In 1815, her interest of the number theory and elasticity was reawakened after a prize was offered for proving Fermat's last theorem. Sophie Germain also wrote a letter to Carl Friedrich Gauss. In this letter, she stated that the number theory was her preferred field. She outlined a strategy for a general proof of Fermat's last theorem. In this letter contained the first substantial progress toward a proof in 200 years. However, Gauss never answered this letter. Apart from her love of mathematics, Sophie Germain also studied philosophy and psychology. She wanted to classify some facts and generalize them into laws that could form a system of sociology and psychology. Two of her philosophical works were later published. In 1829, Sophie learned that she had breast cancer. Despite this, she continued her work, and in 1831, she published her paper on the curvature of elastic surfaces. She also published The Principles of Examination. These two papers that were published led to the discovery of the laws of equilibrium and the movement of elastic solids. Sophie Germain passed away on the 27th of June in 1831. Olivia and I relate to Sophie Germain 
because she was a huge influential mathematician of her time. She showed perseverance by continuing her work although she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was not allowed to go to Ecole Polytechnique because she was a woman, but she pushed through that obstacle by getting notes and submitting her work to faculty. Nothing stood in her way because she never gave up.